So let's see an example on how we can actually combine these two equations. Example number three is saying that a batch of wet solid is to be dried from a free moisture content x equal x1 equal to 0 0.38 to x2 equal to 0 0.04 kg H2O over kg dry solid. The weight of the dry solid is ms equal to 399 and the area of drying is 18.58 meter squared on top drying surface. Calculate the time of drying okay, given the critical moisture content and the rate constant uh, rate for the constant rate period is 0 0.195 and 1.51 respectively. So if just by writing the value x1 is equal to 0 0.38, right? x2 the final moisture content after drying is equal to 0 0.04 and the value of xc is actually equal to 0 0.195 so here the condition is going to be our x2 value is smaller than the value of xc so meaning that if let's say we represent it on a graph on our rate of drying curve like this so let's say this is the value of xc so this is going to be 0 0.195 the value of x1 let's say it's around here so it's going to be 0 0.38 and the value of x2 which is going to be 0 0.04 so let's say it's around here somewhere 0 0.04 so you can clearly see here that you have two different type of drying from this point from your x1 until xc we have the constant rate drying and then from xc until x2 you have your falling rate drying so this is clearly the, the the question that we can actually use the combination of both of the equations that we just saw so you have again you have two options either you want to find the value of the constant uh, constant rate drying or the falling rate drying separately or you can just combine it so the easiest way is to combine it because you don't have to waste a lot of time so the equation will be t total right t total here meaning that t for the constant rate drying and then plus the falling rate drying so t total is going to be ms over arc in bracket x1 minus xc plus xc ln xc over x2 all right so this is the equation now we know all the value the value of ms were given the value of a is given the value of rc is given and we know the value of x1 xc and x2 so it is just a matter of substituting all the values into the equation and you will get a value so here is going to be 399 over the area is 18.58 the rc value is 1.58 1 1.5 sorry Your x1 is 0 0.38 minus your xc is 0 0.195 plus xc 0 0.195 ln xc is 0 0.195 divided by 0 0.04. So once you calculate the value, you'll get an answer around 7.03 hours okay so this is the final answer you can also try by using the well the equations for the constant rate period separately and then finding the value for the falling rate period separately and adding these two up you should be getting 
almost the same answer. Now remember one more thing, if you notice here, I did not mention about the units. So how did I get the unit of hours here? So please make sure that you know how to properly do unit cancellation. Okay, so the, the M here will have a unit of kg. A here will have the unit of area. Your rate, if you look at the rate value, you have the unit of kg H2O per hour meter square. So the hour that I got from was the, the 7.03 hour is actually coming from this, your rate, right? Because if you look at here, if you look at the other value, your moisture content has a unit of kg H2O over kg dry mass, right? So dry mass. And then this whole thing will not have a unit because this one divided by this one will be unitless, but we still have the unit for this one, which is going to be still the same. So when you do your unit cancellation, kg of H2O plus the kg of dry mass. So did you know that 399 is kg of dry mass? In here, your rate is actually kg H2O. And then you can cancel out kg H2O and kg dry mass based on the unit for this one and the unit for this one. You can cancel out the unit of area with this one. The only unit we left is the hour unit. So that is how I actually got the unit of 7.03 hour. So I'm not showing the unit here, but you must bear in mind that you must be able to identify what is the unit of time that you are finding here. And the unit of time is actually going to be coming from this value.